Using Neurospectrum.net software, you can record not only EEG, but also evoke potentials, especially long latency evoke potentials and cognitive evoke potentials. For example, here is an example of such examination with three tests with evoke potentials, mismatch negativity, CNV and P300. In evoke potentials window, you can see results of averaging of these uh, tests and on native EEG traces you can see the stimuli markers. Black color is for non-significant -signific markers and red color is for significant uh, stimuli. In this window with evoke potentials you can make review of average traces For example, like this. With plus and minus keys you can increase and decrease the amplitude, the scale. And with divide and multiply button you can increase and decrease sweep speed for these traces. I like this. Uh, in acquisition style you can perform uh, settings for evoke potentials recording. For example, let's see how can you change settings for P300 evoke potentials. In the settings you can select epoch analysis in millisecond, you can select number of averages for this technique, stimuli, fre stimuli frequency and change frequency step and probability of meaningful stimul. Here you can see filtration and reviewing parameters for this technique. You can change all of them and also you can set up meaningful and non-meaningful stimuli. For example, by default here we use built-in audio stimulator of your EG headbox, but you can select another type of stimulator for non-meaningful and meaningful stimuli. For example, let's try to use high resolution pattern stimulator. For this stimulator you can set up a lot of different settings. For example, you can load pictures from a list of images for example, for non-meaningful stimuli, I can select flowers and for non-meaningful, I also need to choose high resolution pattern and we'll choose another type of images, for example, ships. So in this case, I'll get the situation when meaningful stimuli will be a picture with flowers and non-meaningful stimuli will be the pictures with chips. And patient need to press patient button or just calculate a meaningful stimuli during P300 uh, technique. So now I save my settings and we'll try to create new examination to show you how it works. Unfortunately I have no device connected to my PC and I'll try to show you this technique in emulation mode. I need to open EP window and using main menu of this window I can start flash, auditory, somatosensor and pattern visual evoke potentials. This is long latency evoke potentials and here is list of cognitive evoke potentials which is also loaded by this software and we will choose P300. Here one more time we can choose the settings for our stimulation and for our acquisition. Before acquisition software will ask you to measure impedance. I have no device now 
and I have no impedance but if device will be connected we will see red uh, green or yellow colors on the electrodes and the task is to make impedance good and to make colors red uh, green sorry now it is emulation of uh, stimulation you see a black and a red color stimulus and here you can see result of averaging uh, for sure it is uh, not a real patient it's j just emulation data Uh, that's why acquisition will uh, will be not uh, correct, but I'll just show you the procedure. After all stimulation will be done, uh, test will be stopped automatically, or we can stop it manually. And now we can see result of averaging of all our stimulations here we can see only one evoke potential test P300 and here we can review result of our averaging one more time I need to say that it's not real patient it's just emulation data that's why results are not uh, so clear as it should be on a real um, patient 